Hi, I'm Sarah, the designer for JewelrySupply.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use the spin and bead. Here's item number SB400, or the spin and bead from Beadalon. Now, when it comes to you, it's going to be in two parts, and you just take whatever size seed bead you want to work with. These are size 11 0 and fill this cup portion about a third of the way full, and then put it right onto that metal pole. Now you're gonna see that this is gonna glide either way you wanna rotate it, really, really easy. So there shouldn't be a problem with that, but make sure that your seed beads are nice and evenly spaced by giving it a really quick turn and then slowing it down. This is also gonna come with a very nice and handy curved needle be careful because the end of this is pretty sharp. But the cool thing about this is whatever kind of thread that you want to use, nylon thread, silk cord, anything like that, all you have to do is thread it through this needle. And it runs the whole length of the needle, so that's pretty cool. Then after you have that done, all you have to do is start spinning this fairly slowly. And we found that speed and angle of the needle were two factors in determining how quick and how easy it is to get the seed beads onto the needle. So start off kind of slow. So I'm not working on the inside circle, I'm going to be working on the outside. And just very lightly stick the end of the needle into the seed beads. And you'll know you have the right angle and you're going at the right speed when those beads just jump right onto the needle. So after you have a couple of them on, and you can go the whole length of the needle too, pull it up, pull the needle up, and then thread the seed beads down onto the cord, and then dip the needle back in And just keep repeating until you have as many seed beads as you want to work with onto your cord, and you're set. 